Interface. Possibly one of the most boring words in the human language if you didn't want to jump out a window right there. And I'd be very surprised because for five years I had no idea what interfaces were and it wasn't until after college that I realized what they're for. So I'm here to show you that interfaces are not complicated, show you exactly how they're used. And yeah, they're really not that bad. Hey, I'm Alex. I make a Java video on this channel every single week. So if you're new and you may be interested in that, then please consider subscribing. So let's start learning about interfaces by just going to File New Java Project. Call it something like Interfaces are fun. Hit finish. And now inside the source folder, go to New Class. And call it just something like Interface Example. And then add the main method with that checkbox and we're good to go. An interface is basically an outline for a class and to make an interface in Java, all you do is type interface, the name, let's call it fun, and then your curler bases. The reason we're creating an interface outside of like the main method, like the main method is usually where we write code since it gets run when we click the green run button, well, an interface is kind of like a class where we write the code outside. Any object or class in Java has attributes and things it can do. So to create an outline for that, we just need to list out attributes and things it can do. Attributes are always done with variables. So we'll say like uh, something like color and we'll set a default color. And um, there's this water bottle here, so let's I guess go with that theme. What can a water bottle do? Well, we can fill it up, fill up. And I'll just rename this interface to water bottle since we're doing this on the fly. And I'll call it interface, just so we know the difference. So now we have this outline. We've got a color blue and we can fill it up. We could also add um, some more attributes or more um, things it can do with methods, but Here's a simple example. If we wanted to make a water bottle of our own, but we're a little confused on how to start, we can just be like, hey, I know that there's a water bottle interface. There's this outline. Why don't I just use the outline? So we can just do that by saying implements the water bottle interface. Make this a little bigger. Cool. Now we get some red underlines. If we hover over it, it's basically saying that since we said that this class implements the water bottle interface, which is just an outline, it needs to have the things in the outline. So it needs to have a color and it needs to be able to be filled up. So we can just hover over it and click add unimplemented methods. And then this generated right below the main method. If we save this and sort of add something to the main method so we can see what's going on, and we print out color, and we also create the example. This example. Next dot fill up, and we implement it here. Then we run it. Then we see blue and it is filled. Now I know that's a lot. I kind of scrambled to finish things in the end, but let's go over absolutely everything so you know exactly what's going on. If we look at this file, we see that we have an interface and we have a class. An interface is an outline for a class. So this interface has a color set to blue and can be filled up. Next we go to the class. And it turned out that we wanted to create a water bottle, but we didn't know how. We just wanted to use an outline that someone made before. So we can say implements the water bottle interface. Use all the methods and attributes inside of the interface as our own. We have a main method here, which doesn't really matter. It just helps us run code. And we found that we had to add the fill up method because it's in the interface. Everything in the interface has to be in the class. So if we added another method here, say um, pour out or something, then we get red underlines because we need to add that extra method. So add unimplemented methods, and then we see pour out. 
because everything inside the interface has to be here. There's this override tag that just means implement whatever's up here. It just helps Java and you keep track of what you are implementing from the interface. So in the main method, when we print color, since this implements water bottle interface, it knows all of this, and so it knows the color blue, and that's why you see the color blue print out here. Next, we create um, a class of itself, x, then we can do x.fillup, which goes inside of here. Interfaces are helpful because it lets you keep track of what you need, but a major drawback of interfaces is that you have to have every method from the interface. So it can get kind of cumbersome. I hope this helped you out a little bit. This is my first time explaining it. So I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a great day.